Hey Drifters, I'm here to bring you some more updates on the Outlaw series. This year we've completely changed the way that a drifting competition runs. We've shied away from the old formula of a battle tree and we've gone to randomly generated battles where there is no risk of going home. Everyone that enters is guaranteed eight battles. Each battle adds to points that creates your placing on the championship list. As you can see here, we have a clear first, second and third as we battled them off. After that, we have a whole bunch of ties. So instead of having positions one through 26, we have about eight positions there that people are sharing. To combat that, on our list, what we've done is as people produce their points throughout the system, they'll be ranked in our list one through 26. Each position carries a different weighted score value. Uh, now that score value actually goes to the person that beats said position. So regardless of where you sit on the ladder, if you battle position number seven, you are going to get 2.4 points for the win. When we retrospectively put all of those points back into the results from round one, as you can see down this side, instead of having a whole bunch of ties, we actually do have a clear cut leaderboard. So if we look at Mitch Lana, his first battle with whomever driver that was, was worth 2.1 points and so forth, giving him a total of 18.05 points for the day. Once we've added all of these points to our results from round one, we now have our true list, the Drift West list, ranks one through 26. And as you can see here, these are the point results from round one. As we progress through the rounds, round two points will come in and the totals will change. As the totals change, people will move up and down the leaderboard, but the point scores stay with the position, not the driver. The key to this series is consistency and reliability. If your car is reliable and you can make sure you're at the start line every battle, all eight battles in all four rounds, you have a very good chance of racking up the points and landing well up the ladder in the championship. As the new drivers come into the series, as we've explained before, we're capped at 26 entries. If people are slow getting their entries in and a new driver that hasn't competed yet beats them to the mark, they obviously don't have a ranking within the Drift West Outlaw series. So they will start at the bottom of the ladder and they will be worth two points. After their first round, they've completed their eight battles, they'll collect their points and progress up the ladder and assume the points for the position that they're holding after their first round. At the end of our four rounds of the Outlaw series, we will have a ranked driver list of all the drivers that have competed in the Outlaw series for 18. But it doesn't stop there. On November 24th and 25th of 2018, we're holding the first Outlaw series Battle Fest. At Battle Fest, it will be two days of non-stop battles and the battles will not be randomly generated. Each competitor can call out the competitor ranked above them on the list to take their position. After two days of war, we will end up crowning our 2018 Outlaw Series list winner. <laughs> <laughs>